Hey Stampers, it's the Pampered Stamper and I just want to show you a really good resource um, that we didn't talk about at the team meeting last night but and maybe you're not aware of it or you don't know how to use it. So just log into the demonstrator website and then it's, yeah, you know what? It's always hard to find. I look under happening now, current promotions and then scroll all the way down and then click on bundle focus. And there's the bundle focus is stay there. So you can pick whichever one you like that you want to focus on. So I was looking at the Simply Succulents bundle because I don't think it's a bundle in the new catalog. Um, and then the other one that is the nothing's better than bundle. I have that bundle and haven't used it yet. So I thought that would be a good one to do. But you know what? I've done those already. So I'm going to do this one so I can download it. So you can click on the download, which is here. I'm going to do Canadian English. And then we save it and it saves as a zip archive, which used to drive me crazy. But that just means it's um, compressed. So now I'm minimizing and let's have a look to see where it is. Should be a zip archive. I've got a simply succulent one there. Oh, there's the quite curvy. So then I right click on it and I click on open. And then, okay, see now I have this folder. So now I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click open. And see here we have a whole host of things. Um, there is a PDF that shows you the whole bundle. There's a class. So I'm just going to pull it out over here, that one. There's some shareable images. I'm just going to grab a few like this so I can show you. All right. And there's even a social thing that tells you what you can say. So I'm just going to close this up and let's double click on this and it should get bigger. I'm not a patient person. It's not happening yet. Come on. So then what I do with this, let me double click again. There it goes. All right. So here we have two cards and it gives you the whole description of how to make it. So I'm not sure what the best way is, but I just do a screenshot. Let me just see if I can move it up a little bit. No. And see, so then I, I hit uh, control shift four. And then I do this, oops, and then I have a screenshot that I can add to my newsletter. So that's one thing that's handy. The other thing is here are double clicking and there it is making it a bit bigger. So here is another set of cards that you can just put your watermark on and then you can share it on a blog and a newsletter, wherever you can use it. Um, for a class. It doesn't matter, but it's a great way to um, put things out there. So there's one and then here is another one. Let me just, oh goodness, yeah, not fast enough for me. There we go. So here we have, this is with a, a different card in here, you're one in a million. So this is a fantastic resource to um, to use for your platforms, your social media, your blog, wherever. And maybe, you know, I'll do this another time. So there's also, if you click on project ideas, it will take you to a Pinterest board and then you can pick, see, so there's all these different bundles that they focused on. So I want the quite curvy one. And here you have cards that you can just share. You could share the whole board with your people. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice resource that saves you time. I mean, of course, you can hunt for them yourself and find them wherever, but now it's all in one place. So I hope that was helpful. And yeah, you don't have to do all that much work, but you do want to take those images and personalize them. And I'll show you how to do a watermark in another video. Okay, have a super day. Bye.